Excuse me, doctor. Yes, Reggie? It's time. What's the hurry? Remember, the realtor? Yes. I'll have the car in front. Thank you. Kind of running, but you still like it. Oh, I just let you do the stop. Welcome. Hello. I'm Jennifer Riley. Pleasure, Jennifer. It's Reggie, how are you doing? Yes, nice to meet you. I want to introduce you to Dr. Oliver Roberts. Oh. Hello, Doctor. Jennifer. Pleasure to meet you. And you. If you could spare us a minute, please. Certainly. Thank you very much. Take it. Take it. Full melt immediately. Got it. Same as before? Same as before, Rick. Got it, Doc. Thank you. Okay. Good news. Wonderful. He'll take it. Oh, fantastic. I'll write it up. What's the offer? Uh, a couple of contingencies. Uh, what are those? First of all, the offer is we'll take it full amount. Fantastic. He wants it tonight. We mm -hmm. checked you out thoroughly. Mm -hmm. If anyone could do it, you can. The doctor's also in a very generous mood this evening. On top of the 7% that you're receiving, mm -hmm. he's throwing an additional 10%. I believe that equates to just over a half million dollars. Yes. In commission <laughs> just for you. That's wonderful. Do you think you make that happen? You're damn right I can. That sounds great. We're going to the benefit tonight for the fundraiser. Yes. We'll be there tonight. Can we expect the keys? You will have them. Thank you very much. You <laughs> made pleasure. me very happy. Make my job easy. Fantastic. Okay, have a good day, Ms. Rowley. You too, sir. So is the deal done, Reggie? The deal is done, sir. Like clockwork. Thank you, Reg. You're welcome. So what's this thing we're going to anyway? Sir, just so you know, this thing is a fundraiser. And for you, it's a great political move. You get to meet pretty much everybody in the town. The sheriff's going to be there, the town mayor. It'll be great. But more importantly, they're raising money for their new fire station. Believe it or not, the old one burnt down. Sounds like a heck of a night. So would you like to go to a hotel prior to going to the charity event? Yes, Reggie. Uh, actually, I need to change up my clothes here. OK, we'll go back so you can freshen up. Sounds great. Can you believe that? The old fire station burnt down? That's a joke. <sighs> no, it's, it's a bummer, which is why I probably just give him the full amount, you know? You're going to give him the full amount for what? The fire station? Yeah, man. Yeah. OK, I said a political move. We got to eat. Gotta give back, you know? Mayor Gross. Hey, Dr. Roberts, how you doing? We are so proud that you're here. Man, I hope you like our little town. Oh, I love it. It's incredible. Thank you. You're welcome. And I've got somebody, excuse me, doctor, I got somebody. Of course. Candace, darling, over here. Candace, I got somebody I want you to meet. This is the great Dr. Roberts. He's the doc at the new hospital. What do you think about that? Very nice to meet you. And actually, um, I'm a researcher. I don't really work with patients. <laughs> That's a good one. That's something you two have in common. What's that, sir? No patients. Really, Dad? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Doc, but I want to say something to my, my girl here. No problem, sir. Go right ahead. Uh, listen, Candace, uh, be nice to this one. Don't, like, scare him away. Thanks, okay? Dad. Why don't yes. you go sit down and relax a little? All right. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. Please forgive my dad. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's so embarrassing. It happens. <laughs> you get so carried away at these events. It's okay. So how's your evening going? It's Excuse good. me, Doctor. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, the realtor, I just spoke to her. The deal's... Done. All righty. Well, well, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Reggie. Uh, this is Candace. Sorry to be rude. I... No, uh, nice to meet you, Reggie. Nice to meet you also. Uh, the deal's done. What would you like me to do? Do what you do, Reggie. OK, I'll seal the deal. Are you OK driving yourself home? That's perfectly fine. Cabriolet's outside. See you later, Doc. Nice meeting you, you, Candace. You as well. Hope to see you again. Reggie seems nice. 
Yeah. It's my protector. My conscience. So, uh, candy, gross. Wilson, actually, but it'll be gross again pretty soon. Although it wasn't that much fun growing up in this small town as gross candy. Oh, I can only imagine that. <laughs> but your father is the mayor. Well, he is now, but he wasn't always. He used to be in construction. Oh, really? So, yeah, his platform was, I build this town. So, <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, he actually did. So, spent a lot of time out there with him. Oh, sweet. Well, when, what do you do? Um, I'm a waitress. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure if you had a customer like me, well, I'm very sorry for you. <laughs> no, don't be silly. So, what do you research? Blood. Blood? Yeah. Okay, why'd you choose our little town? Why this hospital? There's a species here that hasn't been found anywhere else in the country. So, I chose this place. Okay, I'll bite. What species? Funny you say that. It's called Dismodus rotundus. And what is that? Vampire bats. Really? Yeah. Should I be scared? No. Maybe a little. Hmm. Why don't I show you around a little? That'd be great. I'd love to. Come on, let me introduce you to some people. Definitely. Well, your daughter seems amazing, sir. Hey. I, I think she gets her looks from her mother. You know what I'm saying? Well, she's extremely beautiful. You thinking about maybe taking her out or... or, or... Look, Mayor. I want to extend my courtesy and give you the full amount to build the new firehouse. But please, I want to keep the secret. You got it. If you could do that for me, that'd be wonderful. I will do that for you, for the town, for my business. Wow, this is this is wonderful. Thank you, Mayor. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to want to sit down for this one. I have got a big announcement. That $750,000 that we needed for the new firehouse, we got it! And it is all due to the generosity of Oliver Pierce Roberts, give it up. I told you I wanted to be anonymous. You did this, Mayor. The deal's off. Have a good evening. I'm awfully sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but, but that generous offer was just rescinded by Dr. Roberts. I, I'm so sorry. Reggie, I need you to do something for me. I need you to get a cashier's check for $750,000 payable to the Firehouse Development Fund and drop it off at City Hall Monday morning. Reggie, my phone's dying. Is my charger in the car? All right, well, I'm on my way. Doc, you got a little problem? 
Yeah, it's, today's not my day, man. <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna be your day. No, I don't think it's gonna be your lucky day at all. Hey, little brother, always good to see you. Good to see you, man. Hey, Jackson. Adam. Hey, you got a, you got a tire iron. I could uh, change the tire for you. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate sure. that. <laughs> yeah. I could. But I can't. I'm going to extend to you the same courtesy you did for our little town. Wait, hold on. You are making a huge mistake right here. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> Doc, it's for you, Graham. Wait, wait, we could like, go, like call a hospital or something. What the fuck? Sh You're in this like us. Sit up. Yeah, cool. Easy, man. Damn. Here, take that. Okay, relax. Lean back. You all right? Yeah. Two days, man. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Two days, and when I found you, you're running through the woods naked as the day you were born, Ollie. What's up? Think, bro. I do remember. Okay. I remember them keeping me. They were keeping me warm. Okay, keeping you? Who, who kept you warm? Who? Bats. There it's bats. The bats kept you warm. Look at me, bro. They kept me they kept me alive. Uh oh, okay. Hold on. 
Relax. The bats kept you alive. Listen to me. Look at me. Focus. Let's keep that to ourselves, okay? The guys from the party. The fight. I was leaving. I had a flat tire. They all surrounded me. Okay. They beat me. Doc, why would they do that? I don't remember much. Is this Doc? Boat. Doc, look at your chest. Chest. Look at that shit. Yeah. Reggie, what's going on? I don't know, Doc. What the fuck happened that night? Take another sip of your coffee, bro. Come on, take another sip. Where did you stay? Where were you at? Try to remember. It was, it was, I was in a ditch. It was, I was in a ditch. Okay. But there was the bats. There was many okay, bats. Okay, doc, doc. Stop with the bat thing, okay? I got you. Okay, but how did you get in the ditch? Where's your fucking car? I don't know, Reggie. I don't know. Listen, I got to get you over to the hospital. I'm going to get your shit together, get you dressed. You need to listen. You just need to sign. Sign for your equipment. Okay. Okay? You want another cup of coffee? I'm fine. I'm you fine. sure? Yeah. Give it here. All right. You relax. I'm going to get your stuff together. I try to remember, bro. I'll try. And don't forget, you was there for me. I'm here for you. Even with that bat thing, that's kind of fucking me up, man. But we'll handle this, all right? Relax. Thanks, Reg. Don't mind, I took the liberty. She set a few up for you. Oh. Ah. Looks great. Hey, can you spread this? Oh, you can call me Julie. Julie. Can you give me a minute, please? Sure. So tell me about your research. Uh, sure. Uh, well, as you know, uh, blood is the delivery system throughout the body. It contains all the building blocks necessary well, for the body to heal. But that system only works if the subject is alive. So what I want to do is utilize what we already have within us to deliver the cells necessary to mend bone, correct defect, and even expunge malignancy. So you're talking about cancer? Yes, so uh, that is one application. So, don't you need research assistance? I had a research team back in Maryland, but it didn't go very well. I had a difference of opinion. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Sorry to hear that, doctor. It's too bad for them. Why do you say that? Well, you're here with the grant. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Another is, I found generous benefactors in Big Pharma and Cosmetics. I don't understand. My research cannot only heal, but also revert tissue to a previous state. The Fountain of Youth. Wow. Immortality. <laughs> in theory, yes. Off the subject. 
a few of my friends and I are going to be going out tonight after work for a drink. Would you like to join me? I'll have to take a rain check. But you do know Amber from ICU, right? Yes. <laughs> Everybody knows Amber. Oh. Unfortunately, she asked me out already tonight. Sorry. Oh, Amber. <laughs> Always the welcoming committee for all the new interns and a few doctors. Good luck with that one. Dr. Roberts. Very hey. nice to meet Sunny. you. All over. The infamous. Excuse me, sir? The whole hospital's talking about you. The whole town, actually. We heard some fucked up shit went down the other night. And what was it that you heard? You running your mouth at a fucking charity event? A charity event? Zach, sit down. My sister works at City Hall, and a check showed up today to cover the cost of the entire new firehouse. Hey guys, can we get a table someplace private? You know, there are tables all over this town. Why don't you get your own? Doctor. Sheriff? Fuck you. Jackson. The sheriff? Yeah. This is just like fucking Cairo, Doc. Looks like a nasty scar, Doc. Let me see, Reggie. Second, give me a second. This might sting a little. Something I need to see. Let's try here. Let me put some more. Does that hurt? I don't feel any pain. All right. I'll try it again. Okay, here we go. I don't see nothing. Dry blood. There's no bruise. There's, there's no scar. Try wiping a little bit more. There's nothing there. It's impossible. It's a lot of blood you got on you. You said he hit you with the bat? Well, you hit him. He hit me, Reggie. There's nothing there. Not a bump or anything? All right. Does that hurt? Who's Wanda, Reggie? What'd you say? I just heard you say Wanda. I didn't say shit. You said it loud and clear, Reggie. You said, I love you, Wanda. Who is that? Okay, Doc, you're free. You need to bug out. I did not say a goddamn thing. Nothing. I heard you. I didn't say nothing. You know what? 
you're a freaking mind reader. Mind reader, Reggie? Think about it. I didn't say a word. But I have to be honest. I was thinking that. Quit joking around. I'm not. Hold a second. Check it out. Let's do like the, Vi the Vulcan like mind melt thing. Reggie, I don't know what that is. Oh, sorry. Wrong era. Um, I keep forgetting I'm a lot older than you. Um, I was touching you. Let's try it. You ready? Come on. I'm not doing this, Reggie. Doc! I didn't say a word, but I was thinking it. Let's try it. Come on, man. Come on. Wanda, I love you. Oh, you're all I had, Wanda, she was the one that bit you. She was yours. Why don't you ever talk about her, Reggie? That was a long time ago, Doc. I was in a bad place. That was probably, not probably, it's the lowest point of my life. It's just memories. Let's leave it like that. It's just memories. This just doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Think about it. Think about what you told me when I found you. This is fucking great, Doc. I mean, seriously, think about it. You're like a fucking superhero. Joking, this is I mean, serious. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I know it sounds weird, but you said it yourself. The bats kept you warm. The bats. The bats kept you alive. That's what you said. You are like a superhero. You're like fucking Batman and Spider Man combo thing. How old did you say these scars were? I was guessing like a year, year and a half. I mean, my dad had open heart surgery. That's about what it looked like after about a year or two. Let me help you, sir. This was like a couple of days ago. You know what? Let's try it again. Try what? The memory thing. Let's try it. All right? You all right? Come on, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. oh my God. Mrs. Green, yeah. uh, this is the best oh. attention I've ever had. Uh, 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 Reggie, call me Denise. Oh, yeah. Anything? Mrs. Greenbow? I got an A in that class. This is fucking great. This is great. Doc! You're a superhero. Morning, Reggie. I'm gonna go for my run. Uh, run? Yeah. 45K? Well, at least. You got 5K? Yeah. Okay. I expect, like, um, record time? You expect record time. You're a vampire. You're a vampire. You're delusional, Reggie. Mm-hmm. Record time, bro. Record time. Woo! Uh, damn. Told you. 
you talking about, Reggie? Bam. That's what I'm talking about. What's that? That's under six minutes. You're in your 5K, right? Yeah, but that's impossible. Is it? Check your pulse. <sighs> it's fine. Exactly, Doc. Listen to me, you're a vampire. So no, it's happening. No, Reggie. Listen, Come Doc. On. Hold on. What are you doing? It's my credit card. Take it. You ran your 5K to the marketplace. That's right. You're not tired. Don't seem tired. You run it again for your boy? I can okay. do that. Okay, check it out. Bottled water, sparkling, you know what I like. Yogurt, and a couple pounds of grapes. You fly, I buy. No pun intended. <sighs> but do me a favor, Doc. Run as hard as you can. For real. All right, Reggie. All right. I'll Hold do on. it. <laughs> Bye, Flash. Reg, here's the stuff you needed. Doc, it's not. Done. You're a vampire. OK? No. <laughs> That was fast, Doc. I don't know why you don't believe me. Remember what you told me about those two days? Yeah. Okay? The whole bat thing? I believe you. Where's my receipt? Got that, too. Yeah. Receipt. And your card, Reggie. Thanks for the card. There you go, Doc. That's right, at three minutes of 5K. Okay, like I said, I believed you. Why don't you start believing me? Something's happening. I don't know what. I say you're a vampire. You know, I'm joking around because of the whole bat thing, but that's what you told me. Yeah, yeah. But let's not forget your parents. You discovered a cure for rabies because of something that happened. It wasn't good. Something's going on with you. You're a doctor, you figure it out. But that whole chest thing, I've known you for a while. Come on, man, something happened, all right? If you want me to stop clowning about the vampire thing, I will. But I'm telling you. Figure it out, man. Come on, figure it out. I'll try. All right. I'll... Cool. Shit, man, Jackson's dead. How the hell did that happen? I don't know. I tell you, he wasn't electrocuted. But I'm telling you, it's this guy. But how's that possible? I don't know. We cut him up. We threw him in the ditch. He should be a corpse. He should be wolf bait by now. Maybe he's a zombie. Dude, fucking zombies are not real. I tell you what is real. Four of us left him for dead. Well, obviously he didn't die. Jackson is dead. And that means we're next. But I think we should take the fight to him. All I'm saying is I'm not getting bit by a zombie. Fuck, he's not a... He's not a zombie. He's just a guy who got lucky. And we're not gonna let him be lucky again. I'll tell you what, though, we got something he still wants. His car. Where'd you put it? Me and Brian, we filled it up and we drove Fuck, it over never to. Never mind. I don't want to know. Better off if I don't. Smart. I suggest you start carrying him in peace. Jackson was dead. You want to be next? All right. You better get your shit together. Hey, Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, what's up, pal? 
Going to get my car. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So when are we going to do this? Can't have to go with me on this one. What are you talking about? I have to do it on my own. I need you to stay here and look over the place. OK. Can you do it. that? I got it. Yeah. Nick, where's my car, shithead? Right in my house. You're dead. You might want to undo that safety first. What the fuck happened? Man, what are those guys from that night? The guys with the car? Yeah. They shot you. Yeah. I hope you fucked his ass up. I did. Good. This time it was different. What are you tripping about, man? What happened? When I hit him, uh, I had this urge of fighting him. You bit him. And I liked it. Matter of fact, I loved it. <sighs> Come on, Reggie. Seriously. I'm sorry, Reggie. You're a vampire. And we boys. Keep your damn hands off me. Put a wooden stake up your ass or something like that. You're a vampire, dude. This can't be a dude. I'm a, I'm a doctor. I can't. It's impossible. This is Will you stop it with the doctor shit? I already know you're a doctor. You're a doctor that was gutted by four guys that took your car. They tried to bash your skull in. One shot you. And you're actually tripping? Listen. I'm gonna prove something, I'm gonna prove something to you, okay? Just give me a second. Let's do it. Just stay right there, just stay right there. Turn around, man, turn around. I don't even look at you. All right, bro. Now turn around, vampire. Yeah. All right, smart ass. Wait right there. Just wait a minute. All right, man, turn around. Oh, uh, Reggie? Sure, sure. This is it. Just, I won't do anything. Well, this, this, we'll see. All right, man. Turn around now. What is it now, Reggie? Yeah. I told you you're a goddamn vampire. You got this. Yeah, that's fine. Nevertheless, you're a vampire. You just got shot less than a half hour ago. You're alive. How are you eating that shit, man? Spit that shit out. Where's that? <laughs> huh? Not that bad, actually. You're a vampire, man. Thing is, Virgie, when I bit him, I like blood. Well, most vampires do. But there's something you need to know. You're better than that. 
Secondly, you get all the blood you want. You're a hematologist. And I know why that damn cross ain't working on you. Appearance, it's you. You believe in God. Just because you're a vampire doesn't mean you have to be you know, it's a bad vampire. You're like those stupid ass movies. It's on TV. That's bullshit. You're the person who you are. You just happen to be a vampire. Think about all those movies you used to watch. You know what I'm talking about. Nosferatu. Dracula. Bram Stoker's Dracula. The Bride of Dracula. Blackula. Don't say no funny shit about that either. That was actually a good movie. Salem's Lot. Interview with the Vampire. Lost Boys. Kiss of a Vampire. Vampire's Kiss. Let Me In. Monsters. Dust Till Dawn. Man, I can go on and on with this. Remember Fright Night? Fright Night 1. Fright Night 2. And then Twilight. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I read you. I get it. I get it. Thank you. Those guys got what they had coming. Plain and simple. Stop feeling bad. Just accept it. You're a vampire. And you're my boy. That's tight to me, man. You can't come in here. I know what you are. You can't go in there. I know of your kind. Please, Father. I did not want this. You might have seen my kind, but that's not who I am. I've come to confess all my sins. Please. I stand with you. And I stand with the Lord. Your heart still beats. Go. Confess your sins, my son. Thank you, Father. Father? How did you do? I, too, walked the path. Yeah, Mom. No, that sounds good. Look, Mom, let me call you back. Someone's at the door. I love you, too. Tell Dad I said hello. Okay. Bye-bye. In a second. Hey, what a surprise. So, let me take that. Thank you. Oh, How are you? Sleep. I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah. I got it. I got it. That's what I do. All right. Hey, Doc, Candace is here. I'll be right down, Reggie. She bought us a cheesecake. I'm gonna put some coffee on? Oh, that's great. Okay, give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay. Really good to see you. Thank, Thank you very much, that was sweet. No, you're welcome, it's, it's for both of you. So. Oh, well, I was gonna have some anyway. <laughs> Okay. I hope you like cheesecake. I do, I do. So does Oliver. He loves cheesecake. Um, you want some coffee? Um, sure, I'll have some with you. Okay, right. what do you want? Hey, you know, I just want to welcome you guys to the area and say thanks a lot for the donations with our lives. Well, you'll have to speak to Oliver about that. I don't know anything about mm -hmm. that. You truly are his protector. I'm, I'm his friend. That's how I can look at it. He's kind of like a little brother I never had. So I guess in a way I am his protector. Okay, come on in. Come on and have a seat. Come on. I wanted to show you something very special. What is it? You'll see for yourself. I thought you might like it. Oh my god. I can't believe this is still here. 
I used to come out here as a little girl with my friends and swing on them. Oh, really? There was a guy that lived here. They called him Old Man Sutter. And his wife and daughter were supposedly murdered. And all three of them are buried somewhere in the backyard. Can you believe that's true? And that's what I've always been told it could be. You never know in this town. You're not afraid of ghosts, are you? No. <laughs> not at all. Then I guess you picked the right place. I guess I did. So did you always want to be a doctor? Oh. Actually, no. What made I didn't. you change your mind? My parents inspired me. What do they do? They were hematologists. Were? Yeah. Well, they're dead now. I'm so sorry. Candace. I had no idea. I'm... Oh, damn it. Candace. Oh, I'm always, always putting my it's foot fine. in my mouth. It's fine. It's fine. It's not your fault, okay? I wouldn't have brought it up. It's I... not your fault. Cheesecake was nice. <laughs> it's sweet of you to change the subject. Not a problem. You know, I had a lot of practice with that. Oh, did you? I did. Went to culinary school. How was that? I loved it. It was, it was my passion, my dream. What happened? Well, I met my husband Paul when I was there, and he was a pro football player at the time. Thought no football player's wife should work or certainly not go to school, so I gave up my dream and became the dutiful wife for a while until it didn't work out. So oh. here I am starting over. So I'm very sorry about the divorce. It's okay. I think I've just always had bad luck with men and picked the wrong people. You know, my dad took me to work with him all the time on the construction site, and then you hear guys whistling at you and those are the guys you're supposed to be dating, so. They're all just vicious animals. Candace, I think you should go. What? I'm sorry. Are you serious? Fine. You're no different than the rest. I'm at the house. Candace, she's gone. No, no, not at all. I'm a bad guy, Reggie. I drink blood, I kill people. I'm a monster. I'm a monster. She deserves better. Nice Very nice to meet you. you. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be your lucky day at all. Seek vengeance on all mankind. They're all just vicious animals. Fine. You're no different than the rest.
Something's going on with you. You're a doctor, you figure it out. Reggie. This is incredible. My blood's compatible to a bat. It's fascinating. My pure behavior sucks blood. As a vampire, I inject it as I suck. That's how it spreads. Reggie, it's a disease, like rabies. Hello? Hello, this is Reggie. Candace? Oh, hi, Reggie. Hello, did I get you at a bad time? No, not at all. I'm just getting off. Oh, that's great. Can you spare about 15 minutes? I'd like to speak with you. Well, if this is about your friend, I'm not sure if I want to go back down that road. Actually, to be honest with you, Candace, it is about my friend. And about me, and even you. Me? How's that? Look, 15 minutes. I'll meet you downtown, in the square. Sure, Reggie. I'm sorry. I'm just a little upset after seeing Dr. Roberts yesterday. Trust me, once we see each other, it'll all make sense. See you in about 15 minutes. Okay, Reggie. Bye-bye, Candace. your sins to me, my son. I have sinned the ultimate sin, Father. And what sin is that? I have taken a life, Father. My son, do you believe in God? Yes. Then reveal yourself to me. Who do you serve? Nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad, como en la tierra, como en el cielo. Then go, and serve our Father. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on? Oh, where do I begin? Let me start from the top. I need you to please try to understand something. <clears throat> Oliver hasn't been quite himself lately. I don't know if you're aware of it. After the fundraiser that night when yeah. you left, mm -hmm. uh, he got into an altercation with a few of the locals. What? I had no idea. Yeah, most people don't even know what happened. 
One thing led to another was a fight. Is he okay? He's fine. It's all fine. But keep it to yourself. He hasn't been the same since that night. One, his car's gone. They took his car, and he took a pretty bad beating. Wow. But I wanted you to know, uh, it wasn't you. It had nothing to do with you. I know you guys are going through some stuff. I want you to know it has nothing to do with you. It's such a relief. He just told me that his, his parents had died after I stuck my foot in my mouth once again. I just thought he was mad at me. No, he was not mad at you, not at all. In fact, the truth of the matter is he feels he's not good enough for you. What? Are you kidding me? I'm telling you how he feels. I'm just a small town country girl that's been married, divorced, living day to day as a waitress. Doesn't mean anything to him. He's a polite, handsome, very rich man that lives in a, a big house and has the title to go with it. He also has one hell of a best friend. Hang in there. Don't throw in the towel so fast. Oh, I don't give up that easily. I was just giving him a little space. That's probably a good thing. But like I said, he hasn't been himself lately, so I'm gonna need your help. If it wasn't for Oliver, Dr. Roberts, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. What do you mean? There was a time in my life when I hated the world. I hated myself. I didn't care. In a way, I wanted to die, I think. I just ceased being. Wow. I was homeless for over three years. I had no idea. And I... I was bitten by a dog. I had rabies. Basically, I was going mad. I didn't know it at the time. But Oliver saved my life. Not only did he save my life, he found a cure for rabies. He brought me in, gave me a job, gave me a reason, purpose. You guys are really fortunate to have each other. You know, we're all fortunate to have each other, you included. He's a good man, and you're a good woman. And the way I see it, you guys deserve each other. So don't you go giving up. Thank you for that. Don't give up. I won't. Good. Thanks for coming. Thanks for calling. I gotta go. say you come over for dinner at seven. Gives me a chance to explain myself. Sounds good. Thank you, Ken. See you then. What are you doing here? Father, what a surprise. What are you doing here? I haven't seen you in years. Last time I saw you was at the shelter. That's right. This is a far cry from being homeless, isn't it, young man? Yes, it is, Father. But 
thanks to you, the church, and Dr. Roberts. That's all in the past. What's up with the cave? You okay? Reggie. Do you still trust me? Yes, I trust you, Father. I trust you now as I trusted you then. I never stopped believing. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Is my shepherd, I shall not want. I just had to be sure. This is a gift from Father Diaz. Your Dr. Roberts visited him this morning. This helped Father Diaz get through what Dr. Roberts is about to face. Now, since I know you're here. I feel right about giving it to you. You know what he is? I do. And so do you. Now, this is made with strolling silver. It will do the trick. Take it. Oh. Sorry about the shirt. Reggie, watch yourself. Something is different here from my time. I haven't figured it out. Wow, truly, you look great. Well, thank you. I thought I'd drop by and bring you some lunch. I haven't seen you in the cafeteria lately. Yeah, uh, I'm always stuck here, you know. Well, actually, nobody's seen me lately. You do. Yeah. If anyone wants to see me, uh, I'll be next to the dead people. Oh, you see dead people. Sure do. Every day. So what'd you bring me? Oh, a sandwich and banana. A little light lunch for you. I appreciate that, Julie. I'll definitely have that later. So how's your research going? Oh, uh, it's coming along. It's really stressful. Doctor, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go right ahead. How old are you? Why? Do I look old to you? Actually, no. You look really young to be a doctor. Well, I'm 28 years old. Why do you ask? Honestly, I appreciate the research that you're doing. But I'm more impressed with you. And I feel a little weird about that because I've never really cared that much for doctors. They seem to have that superiority, godlike attitude. Mm. But you're a lot different. You're honest, you're polite, you're a gentleman. Julie, there you are. I need help with the ward. Now. Okay, give me a second. No, Nurse Perkins. Jackson's body's missing. Sorry, I gotta go. Reggie! Yo, what's up, Doc? We've got a problem. Is that what? What's wrong? It's Jackson. He's missing. He's missing from where? From the morgue. He just disappeared. Uh, he's gone. From the morgue. Hmm. That's a problem. We gotta do something about it. Yeah, we do. We gotta do something about this, too. Better up here or down there? Down there's perfect. Doc, relax. I told you before, something's happening. Not only is it happening to you, 
Obviously, this happened to the people that you've attacked. When did you notice he was missing? Just today. So you know what that means, right? Better go on a vampire hunt. That's right. You know what time it is? It's outfit time. Oh. Give me a sec. Okay. Armani or Versace? Oof. Pick one. I love both of them. I think I'll take that black one. Well, I actually took both of them. I used your account to buy them. <laughs> there you go. Reggie, black. Reggie. You could try it on. Let's do it. All right. I love it. That was fast. <laughs> well, I'm a vampire, aren't I? You're goddamn right you are. That's right. There we go. I got something else for you. What is it, Reggie? Turn around. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. Stay <laughs> right there. I made this for you. When I realized what you were becoming, this is your equalizer. Now you bit one person, you killed another. They're friends. I'm your friend. Try that on for size. How's it feel? Feels a bit awkward, but... You'll get used to it. But I want to show you something. If you run into any major problems, you're outnumbered. Hold their fucking hair and cut off their head if you have to. You use it how you see fit. Merry Christmas. Love it, Reggie. We don't have a problem. Thank you. Welcome, bro. Dude, you're hurting me. I smell them. You smell what? Vampires. We're here. Get a haircut. Nice. Who thought of this? Jackson did. He knew it was the last place he'd look. And even if he filed a report, they'd think he was crazy because it's on his own land. <laughs> Smart. What is it? Somebody's at the house. Who is it? It's Candy. Fuck the car. This is so much better. Let's go get some candy. Wait. We'll come back. We'll bring my brother. We'll give him something to remember. Candy cans, candy cans. <laughs> candy cans. <just. laughs> Hello, cheesecake lady. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Come on in. Oh God, you guys, I'm stuffed. Mm -hmm. That was good, Candace. Thank you very much. All right, let's Marcus, see what we've got. Let me see. All right, Reggie. Uh, house rules. You go first. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a change. Here we go. It may be well to consult others before taking unusual actions. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yes, it Very is. Unusual actions. Yeah. Knowledge and not doing are equal to not knowing at all. Hmm. Knowledge not doing is equal to. <gasps> Mine says, it matters not what road we take, but rather what we become on the journey. What will we become on this journey? Who knows? Again, good night. I'm gonna go to bed. Leave you two alone. Good night. Don't have too much fun without me. <sighs> Leave everything here. I'll take care of it in the morning. Thank you, Rich. Okay. Good night, man. Yep. 
So why did you want to be anonymous at the fundraiser? Well, I wanted to hide this image of people seeing me, and so many people jumped to conclusions of who I am. Sorry if my dad made it hard for you. No, it's fine. It happens. You know, he gets all carried away. Now tell me, where do we stand now? On the phone, you were really agitated. <laughs> I just, I didn't understand, you know? I mean, I thought, I thought things were going really well, and then you made me leave so abruptly. It just, it seemed so strange to me. I didn't understand at all. I don't know if you were angry with me or if I did something wrong. No, you didn't. You didn't at all. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I didn't mean to. So, you and Reggie are really close, huh? I think about firing him tomorrow. Stay where you are. I'm on my way. Please, Oliver, hurry. Reggie. Sir. You need to go now. We'll be leaving the train. I will. Right away, sir. Thank you. Wow, you look nice. Thank you. I really need to go. Okay. But please, make yourself comfortable. You know, maybe, maybe I should just go home. No, no. I insist. Please. Perhaps a bath. I'll see you soon. All right, Doc, what's going on? I just got a call from Nurse Perkins. What's up? The tone of her voice, it just didn't sound right. What do you mean it didn't sound right? Is she at home? She's at the clinic. She's at the clinic this late? There's something going on. I could feel it. Well, whatever it is, I got your back, Doc. You know that. Same here, Reggie. What is that, Doc? Be careful, man. Doc, don't do it. Don't do it, man. That shit could be a bomb. Reggie, get out. I'm not leaving you, bro. Get out. I'll be fine. Doc, this is fucked up, man. I'll be fine. Consider it done, Doc. I'll call you when I get there. You be careful, man. Brother? Fucking home. 
Let's get down low. Once you tell the doctor from this, you tell him to meet us in the East Woods and come alone and we'll finish this. You're hurting me. <laughs> Brother. Doc, Reggie, it's not good, man. She's been bit several times. She's still breathing, though. I, she's alive, but she's been bit bad. Reggie, take her to the hospital. Get her isolated in ICU. And I'll get back there as soon as I can. All right, Doc. Doc, how's, how's Candace doing? I have a bad feeling she won't be any better than what you found. Get right. her to the hospital now. All right, all right, Doc. I'm out. Bye-bye. Julie? Nurse Perkins? No! Where's my father? As always, by your side. I love you. I love you more. Thank you, Mom. And Dad, I'll see you again. Do you think you can beat us? Try beating all. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this way. I could change you. I have a cure. There's nothing to cure. We'd rather be dead than live without this. Little brother. Oh, he's good to see you. We could change this. Let me help you. One chance.
can adopt you in private. So, just... Brother, don't leave me! Some brother you turned out to be. <laughs> it's just you and me now. I can help you! You don't have to end like this! Let me help you! Six new bodies were discovered here last night in the Louisiana Bayou, with no explanation as to who or what could have torn bodies apart in such a way. This is the third massacre this month. The local townspeople are determined to stay steadfast and strong. They say, and I quote, we will not be intimidated and we will not run. With me now on this chilly day, one of the locals, Portia May Hopkins, who discovered this grisly scene last night. Portia, in your own words, what did you see? It was horrible. Reggie! Take her to the hospital. I went to get a robe. She's on the goddamn ceiling, dancing around like Fred Astaire. Then she flew down and bit me. Reggie, I had to check for myself. Doc, she's a vampire. Reggie, stand back. Stand back. All right, Doc. <laughs> Doc, she's a vampire. Be careful. Reggie, you're the cure. What are you talking about, Doc? It all makes sense now. 
Remember, I used your infected blood to synthesize the cure for rabies. Yeah, I hear you. She was still in the goddamn ceiling like Linda Blair. I'm telling you, the bitch's a vampire. She's back to human, Reggie. Doc, I'm telling you, I said we put a stake in her heart. Call it a goddamn day. Reggie, you were the cure. She's back to human. Fuck, are you sure? Yes. This yes. is what it's like, what you did with the rabies, works for vampires? Exactly. Then if that's the case, Doc, then you can be human again. Doc, fight me. Fight me, Doc. In time, Reggie. In time. You even said it yourself. Too much real evil going on right now. I'm no good facing it as a human. Come on. We have work to do. Doc. What about Julie? Grab her. We'll take her to the hospital. Now. Let's go. Thank you.